What are some things that guys misinterpret from women as she's interested in me? What made a guy once think you wanted him, while you were like WTF, as if? What are some things that guys misinterpret from women as she's interested in me? Women service sector workers being friendly to them in the course of doing their jobs. I remember reading a post on Reddit a long while ago about some guy who was having problems booking a plane ticket and used the website's chat feature to try to solve the issue. He became convinced that the woman answering his messages was flirting with him because she used a smiley face emoji and didn't exit the conversation once the issue was resolved. Having worked in places like that, we were told not to be the one to exit the conversation first in case the customer has an additional query that they forgot to mention. This guy missed her and wondered if she was thinking about him too. The answer is, she absolutely is not. Being employed in a bar and serving him. Dude, I'm required to be polite. You are older than my dad and I can smell you from here. I do not have a thing for you. Accidentally making eye contact on the train. Looking at him being polite and friendly being alive nearby. A classmate, G, in college and I met up to peer review for our senior semester three or four times. Years later, I ran into a mutual friend, K, and she said she was so glad that G and I dated or else we, K and I, never would have been friends. I was like, dated? And she was like, yeah I remember G always talking about how you guys were dating in the last semester. Oh. Oh. I was 16, and working at a horse barn. One of the ultra-rich ladies had a houseboy. That's what she actually called him OMG. That would come and assist her at the barn with whatever she needed. His car wouldn't start one day. I offered to give him a jump start. It didn't work because there was something else wrong with the car. Oh well. That's the end, right? He started calling every day, first to thank me for being so nice, then just to talk. I would get off the phone as soon as I could, but I didn't want to be rude, right? He asked me how old I was. I told him the truth, that I was 16, thinking that would set him straight. It didn't, and he cheerfully told me he was in his mid-thirties. It was with a tone of like, oh you like chocolate? Well I like vanilla? Isn't funny that we are different yet get along so well. Fucking yikes. He kept asking me out on dates. I would try and politely refuse, again, don't want to be rude, do I? I kept emphasizing I was still in high school and had little time for dates. He asked me if he could take me to prom. I started to get scared then. I couldn't for the life of me figure out why this mid-30s guys wanted to be with a 16-year-old loser with a curfew. Wouldn't older women who like, didn't live with their parents be much more appealing? UG but he kept calling. Finally, one day the phone rang, and a lot of the rich horse ladies were there, and they saw me panic and could tell something was up. I told them what was up. I will never forget this one woman marched over to the phone. It was that dude, she gave him the most epic scolding. Then she contacted security, this place was very fancy with security gates, and had him banned from the premises. She also followed up with the lady who he was working for, and told her all about it. After she got off the phone with him, she sat me down and gave me a serious talking to about how to handle this shit in the future, that has served me very well in life. I really appreciate those rich horse ladies for teaching me how to stand up for myself. I tried to pay for my coffee he worked at the coffee stand. IDK it was weird. Apparently being polite whilst ordering my beverage meant it was a green light to try and ask for my number and then lean over the bloody counter and kiss me on the cheek as I was about to walk away. I was 19 at the time and had no clue what was happening. If he is really interested in me, then almost anything I do can be misinterpreted. Laughing when they say something funny. Being physically close even if it's because we're in a small space with lots of other people and it can't be avoided. Smiling. Just like I do to other people. Just generally being a friendly person. It's just treating them like I treat other guys I'm friends with. But those guys won't take these things as signs I'm interested in them because they aren't hoping for signs that I'm interested. Just the sheer fact that we're being nice to them. Just because I'm nice to you doesn't mean I'm into you, dude. Everything. I remember a post in here by a guy who thought a woman had chosen a particular color sweater to mirror the one he had worn the day before, and surely it was a sign. There is nothing at all too small to lead someone thirsty to assume it's a sign. I forgot my personal anecdote, so here goes. New roommate when we were in college. 
The apartment housed five people, and this guy was new after someone dropped out and moved away. We were all hanging out one night, and talked with him a bit, joked a bit. Nothing sexy or flirty at all. Later one of the others told me, that he'd asked her to tell me he wasn't into me, so I shouldn't get my hopes up. He had claimed I was obviously flirting. Face with rolling eyes I never wanted him, nor liked him much as a person. I've been told that I have a happy face and smile a lot. A lot of guys seem to interpret this as a come on. I'm not sure why people are nice to each other all the time without necessarily wanting to fuck. If I'm really flirting with someone, they know.